next? We've got a, uh, we've got a short Unimed commercial. Uh, so our inter international business development specialist, Dr. Shen Zhang, will be uh, prepared a, a short introduction to one of our most exciting innovations. Um, one that has the potential to bring minimally invasive surgery out of the OR1 suite and, and really into remote or rural hospitals. I'd encourage anyone that has an interest in this technology and working with Unimed to, um, to talk with Dr. Zhang or um, one of the Unimed staff after this and we, we can talk about ways that we can partner on it together. Jen? Good afternoon, everyone. Um, this technology uh, was invented by Dr. Shenzhou Ari, who has to be in New York to give a, pre to give a lecture today. Um, he wanted his technology to be featured at demo day, and he asked for my help, um, and here I am. This shows how um, we would go extra miles for our inventors. <laughs> <laughs> So laparoscope provide image guidance for uh, minimally uh, invasive surgery. It's a core element of the technique. The first laparoscopy was um, performed uh, over a century ago, and, and it became really popular um, and more advanced in the past two decades. <coughs> There are many advantages of uh, laparoscopy. Um, with small incisions, uh, there are de decreased pain, uh, shorter recovery time, uh, less hospital stays, and better cosmetic results. Um, with the benefit of the technology, it becomes uh, more and more popular. However, with the technology get more advanced, it also becomes more complex. This is a picture of a typical um, laparoscopic OR. Um, there are many components. You can see the equipment. Um, it's enormous in size, apparently not very portable. Um, and also, they need to be equipped, <laughs> equipped in a laparoscopic OR. Um, there are many components and the cables. Uh, sometimes the assemble and disassembly of the cables takes longer than the procedure itself. Um, it requires a presence of the of multiple assistants. It's also ve very expensive to build and equip an uh, OR like this. A typical OR like this costs about half million dollars to equip uh, and build. Um, that's why every second of the OR usage is counted as part of the laparoscopy uh, laparoscopy uh, cost. Also, because of the prohibitive high cost. There's limited access in developing countries uh, like India. Dr. Shendra Ari, who is originally from India, uh, he currently trained residents in both India and the US, um, witnessed firsthand how limited access laparoscopy is in developing countries. And he realized that portable and uh, inexpensive lapros laparoscope is needed. So he teamed up with Dr. Denise Alexandra, uh, optics engineer uh, in Lincoln, and jointly invented the um, portable laparoscope. It's an all-in-one, self-contained uh, laparoscope designed to perform um, laparoscopy outside the dedicated OR and in conventional settings like the battlefield. It's cost effective by cutting down the equipment cost and the OR time. <coughs> they also went ahead to build the functional, the prototype. Um, it's made of titanium. Uh, it's sterilizable, and they use this uh, to conduct studies in cadavers. Um, the uh, the prototype, prototype pr was proved um, accurate, sensitive, and it produced useful images for diagnostic purposes. However, the design is not very ergonomic. We can't expect doctors to use this to perform um, surgery on real patients. Um, also, the image quality has to be improved to conform to the gold standard of laparoscopy. So the next uh, step is to um, make more advanced prototype. 
uh, we want to explore the option of using wired wireless or detachable tablet as image display or even smartphones. Um, we want to create more ergonomic designs, improved image quality, uh, integrity new software, and uh, um, conduct studies to demonstrate equivalency to currently available systems. And then use the data to apply for um, regulatory approval. Well, this invention not only has strong technical foundation, it also has large market potential. The global laparoscopic device market has been ever increasing in the last two de decades. And by the year 2020, the market is gonna, global market is going to reach $9.5 um, <coughs> billion. Dollars. And there's, there's large unaddressed market aid in developing countries like India. To give you an example, um, according to Dr. Ari, the access rate, um, only the top 10% um, Oh, only the top 10% of the people in India have access to laparoscopy. Um, however, in the United States, 96% of the gallbladder removal is done with laparoscopy. So to just bring the gap together is a huge market potential <coughs> and opportunity. The original design of the laparoscope was um, designed for diagnostic purposes. However, it's um, Readily, it can be readily evolved into um, interventional use beyond um, its purpose as a diagnostic tool. We be also been contacted. Uh, it was the original intention was to um, increase the access in countries like India. Um, However, we have um, been contacted repeatedly by, mar by uh, marketing managers in the US and Europe um, requesting to either distribute or launch the product through their company. And we also have been told that Department of Defense would be interested in using the product to um, perform battlefront uh, on the charge. Unimed has uh, invested in uh, interna international patent applications, uh, IP protection to, re to help us um, capture the full value of this invention. Um, and after the product is launched, even with moderate market uh, penetration, we expect the product to bring millions of dollars of revenue um, through licensing to the university. And Dr. Ari um, plans on setting up a startup, a startup company and uh, start the fundraising. If you are interested to be part of his venture, um, please let us know. And uh, I'll take any questions.